In the previous video, I have explained circuit connection on breadboard using LM35 and node MCU to read temperature. Hi, I am Dr. Anzar Ahmed and in this video, I am going to share programming part and how to upload data on ThinksSpeak. In short, we would follow following steps to complete our project. First step will be to create a channel on ThinksSpeak to upload our data. Second step will be to discuss about Arduino code and third we will read sensor value on things speak. First of all connect node MCU with your laptop. Now let's start with things speak. Open the things speak and sign in with your email ID. In the previous video we have already discussed how to create an account in things speak. After sign in, go to channel and click on my channel and then click on new channels. Provide name of your channel, for example, in our case LM35 node MCU. Then fill description, you may mention temperature measurement as we are doing it. In field 1, you may write temperature. To avoid any confusion, just keep it simple and blank and save your channel now your channel done these are api keys these keys allow us to read or write data to our channel we can say these are the authenticated code code given by things speak you can generate new api key first of all copy write api key that will be used in our code to assign a string variable then assign SSID service set identify and password of the network that we want to connect. Now assign API thingsspeak.com URL to connect code with thingsspeak server. Resolution. Resolution is assigned by float function 3.3 by 1023 where 3.3 is the supply voltage and 1023 is the maximum analog read value now under setup we start serial monitor with 11 5200 baud rate baud rate is the rate at which information is transferred to the channel then disconnect all previous wi-fi connection then start wi-fi begins function that is used to enter ssid and password once the connection is established type ssid and password check the status of wi-fi we will use while function until the wi-fi status become ww dot connected there are print that dot every find at every millisecond once the wi-fi connected let's put ssid and password then we come up wide loop the analog value is multiplied with resolution and then assigned to a time float function the resolution is 3.3 by 1023 where 3.3 is supply voltage and 1023 is the maximum analog read value assign this to temp float variable then we come upon client dot server to connect the server at port 80 the client dot server returns true value if the connection is established and then we upload the string as things speak will accept a string format so we upload the data in string format the ts data is the string variable and first we assign the api write key and up then temp reading to the field one notice two carriage string at the end of the data then we use post method 
to upload to the server. The post request is the bundle of a string separated by new lines. The first string is message dot line with three elements separated by a space. The three elements are post, update and HTTP version 1.1. Then follows the header fields. The header fields contains information about post requests. The header fields are host and connection and the X things speak. The non-standard is preceded by X and the client type define the body of HTTP message sent to the server and the content length the size of the media sent and finally the message body separated from header fields now by two new lines these two new lines define the data is going to the header field is it okay finally we use client dot print and the string data to things speak server we send the string data to the things speak server a delay of 15 second is required for the next ready to be uploaded now you your code is done upload the code onto node mcu open the serial model now set the baud rate 11 5200 0. now you can see node mcu is being connected with wi-fi and Stamp reading is being uploaded. You can touch LM35 sensors to observe the changes in temperature. Now let us open Things Speak channel. Click on LM35 node MCU TAMP channel and channel aesthetics you can be see. You can check temperature reading in real time. Every 15 seconds the temperature is being uploaded. So it was all about this programming and code. This code you, you can find out anywhere on the net. It's not a big deal.